Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Royal Soft Games. Today in this video I'm going to review and unbox the new 3rd generation Ryzen CPU which is the Ryzen 3200G. I recently built a mid uh, gaming uh, mid range gaming PC mid range budget gaming PC under 600 it can play almost any games at 2020 and I use this component on it if you want to build that you can go ahead and see my video on that the link for that video is in description below but as of now we are going to talk only about this CPU the thing that I wanted was a reliable CPU with integrated graphics so I don't have to put a dedicated graphic in my budget PC I looked up and I searched many websites and I found this uh, AMD Ryzen 3 3200G after looking at the benchmarks and other things for hours this is the best CPU since it can um, run almost any applications and game again uh, let's go ahead and see the specification for this Also, another thing about this CPU, it, it's fully unlocked, so you can get any B450 motherboard with it and install the overclocking software and overclock it to even 4 GHz. As you can see, the base clock is 3.6 GHz, but you can even to boost it up to 4 GHz. The cores are 4, it has 4 threads, but... Uh, to make up L2 cache, but the interesting thing is it has Vega 8 graphics, the graphics that can run any games, the integrated graphic. And the Vega 8 has 8 cores and 2 GB of RAM, DDR5. Let's go ahead and see the benchmark for the CPU. So here is the benchmark for many people in many YouTube videos. They say uh, if you want to build a if you want to build a gaming PC and you're on Titan budget, just go ahead and buy a Ryzen 3 2200G. And people actually listen to that. Actually, no, Ryzen 3 2200G is one or four dollar. But this one I'm showing you is only 92 bucks and it's way better. As you can see, Ryzen 3, the 3200G is 6% higher. It's 73% gaming, 76% desktop, and 57% workstation. However, Ryzen 3 2200G is 69%. And the max clock speed is 3.9 if you want to overclock it. But, and this one I'm showing you, you can even overclock it to 4.25. And the base clock speed based on here is 3.8, but that's 3.4. I don't understand why people are buying that. As you can see, everything and this one I'm showing you is faster. It's 59 more percent more recent and 25% nicer to have. Okay, moving on, the graphics on this is way better than the UHD graphics 620 that the Intel PCs have. I go and uh, shopping malls and I see that 600, 700, $800 laptops and $900 desktop, they're having Intel UHD graphics 620. Look at the benchmark for that. This Vega 8 graphic is 82% better than that and it has 2 GB of RAM instead of 1 GB. You can play almost any game in 2020 with at least 61 frames per second with the Ryzen Vega 8. But with Intel UHD you can't play any game. You only and even on 2012 games you can only reach 37 frames per second. And most people using Intel they end up having a dedicated graphic which is another cost on all of the cost they have to pay to build the gaming PC but with Ryzen you get the reliable fast and 
up-to-date uh, graphics later on three four years which I don't think anyone uses the PC for three four years if they are still using it they can add a dedicated graphic and their PC will fine or just buy another one since I forgot to show you the price for this one as you saw order they said most website is between ninety two dollar it's very cheap you can always change your CPU with graphics in three or four years yeah so this is it let's go ahead and um, watch the unbox for it thank you so much for watching this video and let's go ahead and see the unbox